everybody, it's Scott Crane here with Proto 3000. I'm up here in Germany at IMUS i -Core with Michael. How are you, Michael? Hi, hi, Scott. How are you? Good. I'm fine, thank Good. you. Good. So we're standing, this is not that this is a big deal, but we're standing with a machine that's larger than I am, okay? And it is the uh, Cortec 650i. Exactly, yeah. So it's our high-end model. High-end right. high model, right. <laughs> so tell, us, tell us about this. This thing is massive. Yeah. So it's a massive machine, so you can have this machine in uh, two possible versions. So just the machine with uh, one station for the, for the milling, for milling the blanks. And you can have the machine also with the automatic blank changing system as an option. So okay. optional means uh, if you want or it depends on the customer needs, you can uh, first purchase the machine and later decide to add the loader or not add the loader. But okay. sure, you can also... Uh, get the loader directly with the machine if needed. Right, and uh, so and this holds 16 blanks, is that right? 16. Up, to, up to 16. Yeah. So normally in the standard delivery, uh, you have six blanks uh, available inside the loader, and later you can upgrade up to 16 okay. at the maximum. It's all about the price, so right. the standard is set up with uh, six blanks, and you can upgrade up to 16. Great, great. What makes this machine so robust and what makes this machine special? Yeah, so specialized in this machine, uh, in the mechanical part of the machine, we only use granite components. Uh, the granite base, we have an x-axis, y-axis and z-axis for the movement. Uh, all components made out of granite and uh, we're using in the linear axis, uh, linear motors linear scales and in the rotation axis A and B axis we have torque motors and this uh, kind of setup with the granite and the technology of the motors the, we are using the heaviest and most uh, strongest um, components which you can have uh, for milling machines. So that makes it stable and less vibration so you're getting a more precise cut? That's exactly what, uh, what the machine is doing. It is okay. also combined with a strong spindle. We have inside a 3.2 kilowatt spindle and we're using a special HS key 25 clamping system with a tool changer of uh, up to 32 tools. Okay. So this spindle, the mechanical tools. components and the HS key clamping system makes the machine very stable and the machine is, uh, was made for mainly for customers who are mainly interested in milling chrome cobalt and uh, titanium uh, implant bars for example or abutments directly screw retained. Okay. That's the, the target of the machine. So let me ask you this, Michael. If we're looking, if I have a lab owner that is looking between the 350i Pro and the 650i, yeah. why jump up to the 650? What makes you want to go to the 650i? So it uh, depends on uh, the quantities. So okay. in general, volume. The, the, the volume, mm -hmm. the, um, the 350i Pro can do, in general, the same applications like the 650 can uh, also do. But uh, when you have, for example, one or two implant bars uh, per day, the 350i Pro should be all right. But if you have uh, high production on these uh, high accurate um, frames, then we always recommend the 650i. And also the 650i uh, is, uh, has, needs less maintenance. So because of the linear uh, guides and the torque motors, there are no maintenance needed. Or let's say at least after five years, you should have a maintenance on that machine. The 350i normally has belts and uh, creels, yeah. crease. Uh, so you should have a maintenance at least after two years. After two years, okay, yeah. okay. No, that, that's really important. So if your volume for precise implant material, implant type of uh, applications, if you're doing one to two, you're good with the 350. Yeah, but so in general, the 350 is a machine which we, which we made for customers who have a lot of mixed uh, volume of different kind of materials. So like uh, partially zirconia uh, oxide, partially titanium or pre abutments and PMA, whatever. Uh, this machine is mainly made for uh, the hard materials, so titanium and chrome cobalt. It makes sense for milling centers, for big laboratories with a high volume, with a high need of these difficult to mill materials. Right. And it's taller than you. That's taller than I me. I mean, yeah. this has got well, to be maybe six Maybe I'm too foot. small, I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So is there anything else about this machine that just really stands out that you want to mention? Um, yeah, it's one point. Uh, so for sure, this machine has the possibility to mill wet and dry. Okay. And uh, in general, in the standard mode, we're using chrome cobalt for dry milling and we're using titanium for the wet milling. Uh, the machine can also mill for sure the glass ceramic and wet processing or can also for sure mill zirconia, PMA and wax, so nearly all kind of materials which you need uh, in the dental market, but uh, in general mainly made for the chrome cobalt titanium from the point of the components which we use inside. Awesome. 
Michael, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Till next time, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.